All right, guys. So today, my producers wanted me to create a video about the status of the job market circa July and August 2024, and that's what this video is about. So right now, the job market is not doing so well. Most of the jobs that are getting hired are in healthcare and government, as the government report told us a couple of weeks back. So what does that mean for the corporate world? The corporate world is not doing that great. There's a lot of cuts in IT. There's a lot of cuts in HR. As I said in a previous video, I had a buddy that posted an HR job for an HR manager and he or she got a thousand applicants. People were calling him, emailing him or her, texting, sending LinkedIn messages. There's just so many HR people that are out of work right now. It is what it is. And why is it this way? Because when you are a corporate job or a public company and you need to cut the fat to cut your expenses, and increase profit, you're gonna cut the fat with IT jobs and HR jobs. Why? Because you could live without HR. If you're not hiring, you don't need HR. And you could live without IT. You could always outsource it to India or to a managed service provider, which is mostly in India and the Philippines. Maybe there's some near shore in Latin America, etc. But you don't need to have a uh, IT department or even, you could have a small one, but most of the responsibility you could outsource. So cutting IT, cutting HR is where the cuts are happening. And what that means is if you are looking to hire IT or HR, if you're looking to hire SAP candidates, uh, Salesforce, HubSpot marketing candidates, any type of developers, Java, JavaScript, Angular, C Sharp, C++, .NET, etc. You're gonna have a lot of applicants, a lot for you to go through and it's gonna overwhelm a lot of our clients. It has overwhelmed a lot of our clients. That's why they come to us to help them so they don't get bombarded, so they get precise candidates that are exactly what they're looking for. That's what we do for our clientele. So that's the problem in HR and IT. So where are the jobs in corporate, even though it has shrunk a lot? The jobs in corporate are right now mostly in sales because if you're cutting the fat, you need to grow the bottom line. The whole point is to make the corporate companies lean, mean, growing machines. You're cutting HR, you're cutting IT, which in the long term is going to hurt you. You're not going to be as fast. It's going to take longer. The folks out of India or the Philippines or managed service, they don't understand your company as well as your people inside your company that are in your office or have worked with you for years. It takes them a long time to understand your business, but short term, it's gonna save you a lot of money because they're off your payroll. It's a cocaine rush, it's a huge savings. But you need people to keep bringing in business and you're gonna keep hiring in sales. And that's what a lot of corporate clients keep doing. They keep hiring in sales account executives, account managers, business development, hunters, all types of sales roles are big, big, big right now. Everyone's hiring in sales. And that is where the big margin in our business in recruiting as a search firm, New Config is a search firm, that is where most of our money is, is right now. It's hiring salespeople. Sales is big right now. Everyone wants to hire sales roles. Now, thankfully, we hire a lot of sales roles. Our business is up. In sales, it's down in IT, it's down in finance, it's down in HR, but in sales, it's big, all kinds, in SaaS, medical sales, in pharma sales, in insurance sales, getting on roofs, sales is where it's at. So that is the state of the economy. Oh, another point I wanna mention is education. Right now, when the new school year is gonna start in September, but right now, a lot of schools are hiring teachers and we are helping our educational vertical is growing in terms of hiring all kinds of teachers, math, science, technology teachers. Right now is the time they hire. They hire them in May, June, July, and August, and they start working in July and September in many school districts around the country. So our, our, our teaching vertical is growing. Teaching and sales is where it's growing right now. If uh, you wanna know where the jobs are today in July and August, 2024. If you are looking for a job, what I recommend if you're in corporate is stay there. Don't quit until you have a job at hand because we are talking to a lot of candidates that are taking three months, six months, a year to find a job. Don't do that. 
only quit if you already have a job. Recommendation I'd give to job seekers is stay away from remote jobs. Remote jobs have been cut in half. There's just a lot less of them. And a lot of hiring managers could be very picky. So you're looking for people that are 100% fit or what they want. And if you are 90% fit or 99% fit, but they could find someone in another part of the country that's 100% fit, they'll hire that person and you'll be out of the job. However, with hybrid roles and on-site roles, they can't do that. They can't look all over the country and they'll hire someone that's a 50% of a fit or 70% fit, maybe even 40% fit, but it's definitely not 100% fit. So you have a higher chance of finding on-site and hybrid jobs and remote jobs. We have candidates that search for six to nine months for remote jobs and they're just spinning their wheels they just wasted six to nine months getting interviews but never getting a job never getting an offer don't do that look for on-site and hybrid jobs that will increase your chances of getting the job but if you have a job stay there until you find another job I don't recommend you jump ship at this point because it's really cold out there. The market is really cold for corporate jobs. That is the bulk of what's happening in July and August of 2024. Stay tuned. I'll update you in quarter three in September or October on the status of the job market. I hope this was helpful. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It helps us with our algorithms, helps us grow. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.